Yeah, I do with YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm just more so going to be talking about the NCLEX. Just even more details about my experience and how I prepared and stuff like that. Just being more straightforward than my vlog video. But if you haven't seen my vlog video, I'll link that here too. Make sure you guys go check it out. I took my NCLEX on September 13th of this year and it was quite an experience. I will say that. So first I will talk about a little bit about the process before the NCLEX because some people have asked me about that as well as far as Chamberlain is concerned and timelines and stuff like that. So Chamberlain was very efficient with submitting the documentation needed for my NCLEX. I ordered my transcripts back in like week two or week three of Capstone. So that was like in July I ordered my transcripts and I ordered it to wait for a degree but really, I should have ordered it to say wait for the class to be over because it was kind of really delayed with the wait for degree one. I don't think they actually conferred a degree until maybe two weeks after my last class. But if you say hold for grades, then it'll submit that Saturday once your grades posted. But I don't know how each campus is. I just know that North Brunswick was a little bit delayed with it and I was like, okay whatever so i ended up ordering my transcript twice to send to the board of nursing which was fine they're five dollars each whatever i don't care i just wanted to make sure that they got it and then for my particular board they did not require a letter some boards do for example like new jersey requires a letter for you to get approved and so the chamberlain also sends that letter once you are given the green light that you passed your exit exam they were very efficient with sending everything transcript went in my identity was verified. I had to go and take fingerprints before as well. And then I just paid for all my exam stuff. So Pearson View is the organization that administers the NCLEX exam. The NCLEX is made by the NCSBN, somebody like that, National Council Board, I don't know. The, the NCLEX is made by whoever company the NCLEX is made by, but Pearson View is the one that you pay to be able to take the exam. People get it mixed up all the time about who you have to pay and how much it all costs. I would say in general, you want to have like $500 or so to be prepared because the fingerprinting by itself costs some money. Then your Pearson View is $200. That's a flat rate to take the NCLEX. It is $200. I'm not sure how much it is if you're retesting or anything like that, but for first time test takers, it is $200 to take your NCLEX with Pearson View. And then your state board will be anywhere from $100 to $250, depending on your state. Maryland is $100. Your state board will be different. Maryland's website is very old, very archaic looking like I don't know why they haven't updated it because it's really it's not cute so you just really have to navigate that and take your time with it if you mess up that's just going to delay you from when my last class ended which was august 27th until i got my att which was on september 8th it was about 10 days i actually kind of stalked the board i called them every day for those 10 days i emailed them also every day even though they sent me email backs that said if i emailed them that it would delay my process i didn't care i emailed them okay because i wasn't playing i got my att on the 8th and then the next surprise was that they were like not really that many available dates like as readily as i thought they would be so that was a little annoying i was ready to test like that moment so I actually wasn't able to get a date until the earliest I saw was like September 12th, two hours away. And then I was like, mm, I'm going to wait till the Tuesday to give myself a full weekend to review whatever I need to. So I scheduled for the 13th on the Tuesday and I scheduled for Harrisburg, which is about two hours from here. I think the next available date where I live in Maryland was October 20th or something like that. And I was like, who was waiting for that? Like who was waiting that long? That's crazy. So yeah, I just did it in Harrisburg and I just drove up for my exam. The way that I prepared, pretty much very simple. The way that I view it, and I hope this is not disappointing to everybody because people wanna know like what's the secret sauce and all of that stuff. The way that I think about it and the way that I thought about it was like, I literally have been preparing for this moment my entire nursing career. Every sweat, blood and tears, clinical return demonstration, every little thing that I've done has led me to this moment. So I wasn't really in the headspace where it was like, oh, I got to start from scratch and like learn all of these things and spend all this time doing like I wasn't really like trying to do that because in my head, well, I passed the exit exam and I know what I know. So why wouldn't I pass? Sort of is what I sort of is what I was thinking. 
I basically try to take it as soon as possible. So from my ATT was nine eight, and I took it on the thirteen. So I had five days, well four, really to prepare. And what I chose to do was to listen to Mark Clemick's lectures and to use Passpoint. Now everybody knows about Mark Clemick. Mark Clemick, Mark Clemick, Mark K, Mark K, la 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 K Mark. People are always talking about this man, and you're like, who is this dusty man that people keep talking about? But let me just tell you, Mark Clemick has a lot of credentials. He's a retired nurse, retired professor, retired NCLEX exam writer. Let's start with that. So, you know, he has his credentials. He used to be on the board where, I mean, he used to be on the NCLEX committee where he wrote questions. Um, and apparently they keep questions for 10 years before they decide to, res to get rid of them or keep them. Again, they'll review them after 10 years. So if he was writing questions all the way up until 2015, you know, there are some questions that he wrote that are definitely still on the NCLEX. So in my opinion, I think that he's a great resource. Although some of his information is a little outdated, I will say that, and you have to be careful about those things. And that's just something you just kind of have discernment about. Like some lab values have changed over the years. Some medication names have changed, like from generic to brand or brand to generic rather. And some other little information have changed, you know, as science happens and there's more research and clinical trials, it gets information gets updated. So there are a few things that you have to like make sure you're listening, but listening with a grain of salt because it's not accurate for 2022. But for the most part, it's really good. I love the memorization tricks that he provides. I love the ways in which he kind of makes your mind change so that you can think in a way that you should think as someone testing for the NCLEX. And what I appreciate about him is that he's not giving you information just to give it to you. He's giving you things that you need to know. You know how you have some professors where they just talk and you're like, lady, what's on the exam? And they're like, just read the whole textbook. And you're like, what am I paying you for? Yeah, he doesn't do that. He doesn't read the whole textbook you. He literally says, this is what's on the exam. This is how it is. This is an example of a question that I've written that is on the exam. And I love that. I really love that. So I did watch his lectures. I did not watch all of them, actually. I watched 11 of 12 because I just ran out of time and I was becoming so, I'd be like so spazzy and all that stuff. So I just really didn't finish. But I recommend doing all of them. It took me about... All, it took me all like three days to get through all of them and I just did it like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. like all day long I was doing it I was taking notes as I was going along if you watch my last vlog you would have seen like how I was listening taking notes listening taking notes re-listening rewinding taking notes like sometimes I had to listen to it two three four times before it set in so that was my mark clinic time as far as what kind of question system I used I use a system that is called Passpoint Passpoint is a system that was provided to us free of charge from Chamberlain University. And so I said, well, if it's free, why wouldn't I use it? Honey, I got a wedding to pay for. So everybody keeps asking me, why didn't I use UWorld? Why didn't I use Archer? Did I hear anything bad about them? People still love UWorld. People still love Archer and Kaplan and all these other pro- well, don't probably love Kaplan. But they love all these other programs and stuff like that. But the thing is, for me, UWorld was expensive. Like, I was looking at the subscription and I was like, ain't no way. I'm not paying for that. When I felt like, okay, I can get the same content in a different format, then why do I need to pay for it? I'm getting this free. I earned it. Literally, I just, I'm going to use it. So that's really the reason I didn't use UWorld, not for any other reason besides the fact that I did not want to pay for it. So UWorld, I know, has the exact same format as the NCLEX, as they say, which can be helpful for people, I guess. But for me, that was irrelevant because literally as I was taking the NCLEX, I did not notice a format i was so nervous and so engrossed in the words that were on the computer i wasn't looking at oh this is like the same format as you world that did not matter to me like it didn't matter now passpoint has adaptive quiz uh, adaptive examinations so and you can set them you can set a minimum of 60 questions and a maximum of i want to say 200 questions but I always did 145 questions or 75 questions because that's how the NCLEX is. So 75 at the minimum, 145 at the most. So basically I was just trying to train myself to say, okay, how would I survive if this was the NCLEX like right now? And I had all 145 questions. And I did probably about eight practice exams. The first one, which was like a baseline, it said that I did not benchmark as somebody who passed the NCLEX, which really pissed me off to be honest but no it really like made me like kind of worried like whoa 
so after that i just kept going kept going kept going and then it every other one after the first said that i am on track to pass the nclex i am benchmarking as somebody who passed the nclex and i just believed it i don't know maybe call me naive but i said you know they wouldn't lie to me like that like why would they even lie to me i <laughs> was banking on the fact that whatever they were telling me was accurate so i took my last exam with 75 questions and i was like yeah my last practice rather with 75 questions and i was like yeah okay this is it like you know i'm feeling it. i'm feeling the juju i'm feeling it had a little dance party had a little wine calmed down and then i went to my nclex the process for checking in was intense I had, to, I had to check in twice actually because the first time they said that they couldn't see my eyes they were like your eyes are not open in your picture and I was like my eyes is open like they just be acting like that like what are y'all talking about so I was irritated because I guess you're recorded as you're taking it so the exam uh, monitor person said that she could not see my eyes and she doesn't know if I'm the same person I was like oh, girl what you checked me in and also when you check in you have to use you have to give your fingerprints like you have to fingerprints on both hands so who else is it i don't have a twin but even if i had a twin we ain't got the same fingerprints so what are you talking about <sighs> anyway so yeah that was a little bit stressful because i was like damn are they gonna kick me out do i gotta pay another 200 like i was like getting a little antsy but it was fine it worked out in the end i took my exam now let me just talk about oh and by the way i forgot to say this part at the beginning but i did pass my nclex with 75 questions it shut off this might be like a controversial statement, but I don't think anybody is meant to like know the information that is on the NCLEX. The way that the questions were set up, I genuinely feel like I got 50 questions wrong. And maybe I'm wrong, but I was like making tick marks every time I was like, okay, that question, definitely not right. That question, definitely not right. That question, definitely not right. And it was like 50 questions, dog. Like it was really a lot. And that may be because the majority of my questions were select all that applies and which it was like 75 questions total, but 60 of them were select all that applies. Like the math is not mathing like it was horrible at the same time i kept telling myself like okay i'm getting all these hard questions that means i'm doing well because they say if you get a bunch of hard questions that mean you are doing well once you cross that threshold of from easy to hard that means you passed and i was like okay like i don't know any of these questions i mean i must have passed because if you are taking the NCLEX and you're like damn these are easy i know all of these that's not really a good sign but so they say it may be a great sign for you who knows but that's what i've heard from people but yeah as i was taking it i was like nah like nah i need to refund like the loan company sally may need to need to get a refund because what did they what did they fund like honestly my fiance about to be mad my mom about to be mad like, like i was really going through it i was like this joint is wild i had no idea what was going on and part of me also feels like they get partial credit for select all that applies because there is no way like like <laughs> like what so yeah i um yeah i just really the really the biggest thing i would say is just learning how to answer questions so i think the biggest help for me was of course like i said mark clemick's lectures taught me how to really shape my mind to think like the question and then also just practice questions and I will say, like, the NCLEX is not really a knowledge-based exam. I don't think that they think that you know anything or know everything. And which is crazy to think that someone would know everything after completing nursing school. Like, life is so vast. Disease processes, humans are so complex. It's really crazy to think that you would know everything after a program. Some people only have 11 months in a program. Like, you know, that would be really crazy. I think that they know that on the exam. So it's really just, like, a safety thing. It's just... It's them saying, hmm, if Melissa is put in a room with these patients, will Melissa make sure all of those patients live? And the answer is yes, in my case. <laughs> yeah, the answer is yes, in my case. But in your case, it will be too. Fingers crossed. Saying that to say, I don't think that they assume you know everything. I think it's really just, okay, are you going to be safe? And, and that's really it. Yeah, so for me, my NCLEX experience was pretty standard. Nothing too crazy about it. I took it. Like I said, I spent four days reviewing, like four days solidly reviewing 
and then I took it on my fifth day and that was how I prepared for my NCLEX. As far as results went, I did do the piercing view trick in which I got the good pop-up, quote unquote, and then two days later, I paid for my unofficial result and it said pass and I about passed out. And that was that. The rest is history. The other thing I will say as well, cause I'm just giving you guys, you know, like heads up on things that I just didn't anticipate or know what to expect. So with my particular board of nursing, which is Maryland, as I've already said, they did not post my license number for a couple of days. So I got my unofficial results on 9-15, which was a Thursday. Graduated on 9-16, which was the Friday. And then my license was posted on the Monday. So it was posted on 9-19. So it took them about five days to post my license onto the, the Department of Health's website. So keep that in mind for anybody who has to have their license posted before working. That's something that you got to keep in mind. It might take a couple days. Some even some people that I know it even took them a couple weeks before their license posted. So again, keep that in mind. But once I passed my NCLEX, I just went ahead and submitted my documentation with my receipts to my university, Chamberlain University, so that they would process my refund. And it's going to come in the form of like they're just going to post it on my account and then it's going to be like a refund check, I guess like you would with a loan or any kind of payment like that. So it's gonna take a little while, I guess. I haven't gotten it yet, but they just emailed me to let me know that it's being processed. So yeah, that's that. That's how my NCLEX experience went. If you have any questions, please comment them down below. If you would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one chat with me for any reason at all, you can click my link down below and schedule an appointment with me, Calendly, however you say that. I am offering consulting services. I genuinely try to check my DMs as much as possible, but when I tell you they are flooded, the floodgates of heaven are open. It's a really, really hard for me to keep up. So if you really need me like expeditiously, you can schedule an appointment and that'll get my attention like really quickly. That's that on that. And so, I am going to close out this video now. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with somebody who may be interested. And make sure you keep pushing forward if you are in nursing school. The end is coming. You're almost there. Don't give up. They're making bad ASS nurses out here. NICU nurse over here. But we're making whatever nurse you want to be. Emergency medicine, trauma, oncology. We're making all of them, okay? We're making everybody. We're not making mess nurses though. Don't do that. But anyway, love you guys. I'll talk to you in my next video. Look up more.